Tutorial Robot. In this video, we're going to be changing the permalink structure on WordPress. We're going to be changing how the links work. Now, I've just got a page open on our WordPress site here. And you can see the URL is not so great. It's tutorialrobot.com slash question mark p equals 13. There's a couple different drawbacks of this. One is that if somebody were to, for instance, email me that link, I wouldn't be able to tell just looking at the link what that page is. Another problem, and this is perhaps a bigger problem, is that that doesn't include any keywords in it that Google and other search engines can use to determine what this page is about. So for search engine optimization reasons, it's going to be really helpful to have a pretty human-friendly, readable URL that gives you an idea of what the page is going to be about before you go to it. So luckily, it's very easy to set up pretty permalinks on WordPress. Here's what we're going to do. First step is we're going to log into WordPress and we're going to go to the dashboard, okay, on the back end. Then we're going to go to settings on our toolbar on the left side of the screen and choose permalinks, the very last option. Now by default WordPress is using this kind of ugly permalink structure. Personally, I like to use post name. Uh, I think it works really well. You might also choose the a date and name structure, so you could have an idea of when something was published uh, in in the link itself. But I like post name, so let's go ahead and do post name. So you select post name, scroll down to the bottom, and hit save changes. Now, if your WordPress installation is set up in a particular way where you can um, have WordPress update your HT access file, you might be done right there. Now, you could see for me that's not the case. Um, and it says, you should update your HT access now. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, it gives me basically the text that it wants me to put in my HT access file. What is an HT access file? Well, it's basically a configuration file that sits in the base directory of your web server. And this configuration file basically tells uh, the web server the things that it can do. So in this case, it's going to be telling the web server that, you know what, you can, it really is okay, <laughs> don't worry, we're, we're, we know what we want, let's go ahead and change those permalinks to something that's a little bit prettier. So the way that we do this is we go, we connect to our FTP server, which I have right here in Transmit, which is the FTP client that I personally like the most. I'm going to go ahead and go under File and choose New File. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a new file called period HT access. Now, on a Mac, you usually can't see files that start with a period. Those are called invisible files. In your FTP client, you might have to go under the view options and choose show visible files. I've already done that so I can see invisible files. Sorry, invisible files that was. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this file in a plain text editor. Now, you could do this in text edit. I personally like to use sub etha edit. That's my plain text editor of choice. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up with that. And then I'm going to simply go ahead and select all of this uh, information in the HD access config box that WordPress has shown us. And I'm going to paste it into sub etha edit. I'm going to go ahead and hit save, which in transmit uploads it back to the server. You might have to drag it back in to the, to the server. And then I'm going to go back to my home page here. I'm going to go ahead and, or this is actually a sub page on this website. I'm going to go ahead and reload it. And you'll see that it's automatically redirected to this much, much nicer um, permalink, which is basically you can look at it and guess what the link is going to be about. This is going to help with SEO, search engine optimization. It's also going to help with just readability and human usability of a website. Now, there's one last thing. Let's say I wanted to change the permalink itself for this particular post. Here's how I do that. Go ahead and click on Edit Post. Once that loads, you'll see here's the permalink right here underneath the title of the page. I can at any time click the Edit link and I could change this to something like Screenshots. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Hit the blue Update button on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and hit View Post. We're going to go back to that post and now I've got tutorialrobot.com slash screenshots. It's very easy. Thank you for watching.